Hey guys, this is Clay with Ferris Engineering here. Um, what we're going to be doing today is installing our front splitter with race upgrade on my Subaru BRZ. I'm going to be closely watched by Eric um, just to make sure that I don't mess anything up. Alright guys, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uninstall this under tray. Um, there's going to be some plastic push pins that we're going to want to get out as well as a few bolts too. weight reduction. Now once you get that under tray out of the way, the next step of the process is going to be installing your rivet nuts. Um, there's going to be 10 total. Now to install these, what you're going to want is your rivet nut. And put it in just like that. Tighten it up just a little bit. And then what you're going to do is use a 9 16 wrench to hold that nut. And then you're going to have your Allen key right here to put that in. There's the installed rivet nut. You're gonna have 10 of those throughout the bumper. Um, if you do have the bolt start to gall, um, we give you that second one to try. Um, but another fix for that issue would be to put a little bit of oil on the bolt too. That's gonna help it thread a little bit easier as well. Okay, now while the car's still up in the air, what you're gonna wanna do is take off this, uh, the radiator, um, little support down here, just another little under tray. It looks like here we've got one, two, so we've got two bolts holding this guy on, so it shouldn't be too hard to get off here. All right, so guys, I was just informed. Um, I know you told you there was two 10 millimeters. There's actually a third, and there's gonna be two plastic pins that Eric's gonna have to show us how to get off here. Just push up. So there's a center. Just push up on the center. Instead of going out at it from the top and then just push it through. And it comes off like a regular pin. Yeah, yeah. Can put it out. This point of extension might help you guys for this third bolt. right out there you go now at this point if you did uh, order the race upgrade kit at this point you will need to lower the car and remove that front bumper so you can drill the holes for the support bracket okay so to remove the front bumper um, what we're gonna need to do is take off these plastic push pins and the bolts across this line right here that are holding the front bumper on Next, you're gonna need to remove the three plastic screws right here that are holding the bumper to your fender liner. All right guys, I know I said you need to remove three. There is actually a fourth that's gonna be directly behind uh, the turn signal light, which we will need to remove as well to help uh, ease your removal of the bumper. All right, so now after you remove four plastic screws. It's going to be time to remove the turn signal or start side marker light. So what we're going to do is get a small flat head. It actually helps if you move the tire out of the way a little bit farther, but let's see if we can get it here. There we go. And then gently Pry it up out of your way. There's one more plastic rivet in here that you're gonna need to get off. There we go. All right, now once the front bumper is removed, you're gonna wanna use a center punch or a tap 
um, to get into your craft screen just to start it for your drill bit to make it a little bit easier. Now, since you already have your little hole punches in there, we definitely recommend this just to help the drill bit be started. You're gonna to wanna to use a starter drill bit, um, smaller than the quarter inch, just to help you get started and make the process a little bit easier. And as I was not doing there, please wear some eye protection. Um, we have already test fit the bumper to make sure the brackets will clear the front grill. Um, obviously the BRZ and the FRS are a little bit different, so you just wanna make sure they fit. Now we have taken the bumper back off and we're gonna install our brackets now in our holes that we drilled. All right, now, so once you have the brackets installed, you wanna just make sure that you do have a little bit of wiggle room right there. And then you're actually gonna put the bumper back on and then we will tighten these at that point. All right guys, so when you are getting ready to install your support rods, um, there is gonna be a left and a right hand thread. Um, so what I have figured out, um, P0001B is your right hand thread, and then the OP002B is gonna be your left hand thread. So as you can see here, we have attached the support rods, and you're gonna wanna attach these first before you tighten um, the brackets as Eric is doing right now. And as you can tell on the BRZ, you're gonna want um, these brackets, one on each side of one of these little, um, I don't even know what you call them, but part of the grill, one on each side. Um, if you are an FRS owner, um, you do have a little bit more of a honeycomb, so you can either go each side of the honeycomb or you can go right in between it, whichever way you wanna go. Now what Eric's doing right now is he is installing um, that radiator tray back in before we attach the splitter to the vehicle. Also don't forget guys that you do need to put these back into place. They're going to go over your bumper. I just put it out of place. Um, just make sure you do those before you start installing so you don't have an issue putting them back on after the splitter is on the vehicle. Alright now and if Again, if you have the race upgrade with your quarter inch drill bit um, to install your veins, you do have little pre-drilled holes right here that you're going to want to drill all the way through to install your veins. Alright, so now what you're going to do is find your bag right here that I'm showing you. That is going to be your M6 by 135 millimeter flathead cap screws and the nylock uh, flange nuts as well to install your veins. All right, now I've got all the veins installed. I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip. When you are installing these, um, just make sure to not over tighten the nuts. Um, since they are nylock washers, they will lock and you're not gonna have to worry about these falling off. Okay. So what you're gonna wanna do is your 35 millimeter uh, button head cap screw with the washer and then your little aluminum spacer. It's gonna go on the back first. And then right up into place. So on the very back of the splitter, you're gonna use your longest button head cap screw um, washer, and then you're gonna feed it through the diffuser. And then you've gotta put your two rubber spacers on there, or nylon spacers before you start attaching. All right guys, there's the splitter fully installed. Um, what we're gonna do now is for the race upgrade, we've got to drill the holes into the front of the splitter so we can put our splitter clevises in there for the support rods. 
All right, so what we've done here um, is we've lined up the support bracket right here. You wanna make sure it's centered with your support rods. Um, and then we marked it on top and then we're gonna use a drill to drill through there. All right, so what we're doing here, guys, we're gonna put the bracket on and then you're gonna feed um, your butt head caps through there with your washer pour your clevis on top and then you'll tighten these down. All right, so here's the finished product. Um, what we just got done doing, you wanna make sure um, that this is level and you can use these to push that, pull it up and down um, to make it level for you. And what Eric's doing right now, he's just tightening those up to make sure they don't come loose. Now, um, if you guys do have any questions, um, please check out our installation manual via our website. It'll give you some more in detail pictures and close ups of the nuts and bolts that we could not show you as closely. Uh, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to shoot us an email. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, as well as like us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks very much, guys.